All right, everybody, tonight's the night. Well, tonight for me, anyway. Um, we're going to fill up this wood chip storage area here on Dodson Logging, and I've got three trucks full of 70,000 liters of wood chips, and uh, got some other trees back there on standby. I don't know if you can see them all. I may have got most of them when I filled up these uh, wood chippers. But anyway, got a skitter on standby, and the fellow bunchers over there in case we need it. Uh, may have to cut some more trees down. Uh, we, we, we may have to move our equipment back some too because we, we're having to skid quite a ways now to get some trees up here but anyway let's go ahead and take off and we'll go look at the um, wood chip storage area and I forgot to total everything up golly I was going to do that because we're going to fill it up tonight and see how much we got in here and I was going to tell what the total was, and I forgot to add it all up. I'll do that here in a minute. Uh, whenever we get this first one dumped in here, and I'll, I'll show you real quick what I've done, too. So, look, all we got left is this little spot right here. I uh, probably need to scoop that up with the front end loader and kind of clean that up some so we can get, back, uh, get our truck backed in there. But maybe we can manage for a couple of loads or something. May have just got the truck stuck. Maybe it'll come out. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so there's one load. Now let me see. I'll be right back, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna total everything up to see where we're at. Okay, everybody, so let's see. I totaled all that up, and well, and I can't see my calculator over there. Hold on. Okay, I had to, I had too much stuff on my other screen. I couldn't see where my little calculator was. I had to move everything. Anyway, so where we're at, I was real close. I mean, I was thinking that we were going to be between 25 million and 28 million, and it looks like we're going to fall right in there. Uh, right now, this last load that we just put in there, that brings us to... Uh, of course, it's top of the screen, but uh, 24 million seven hundred and three thousand two hundred thirty nine liters So that's Almost 25 million liters in there and we're, gonna, we're probably gonna get there Before this video is over. I want to make a we'll make a few more loads uh, But first I want to hop in the uh, Well, I see we'll probably hop in the dozer this time Because all I want to do is push this a little bit. All I'm really trying to do is make a smooth path in that way our trucks can uh, get backed in and unloaded. I was using the dozer at first to try to, you know, push up the pile and smooth all this stuff out, but uh, I found that the front end loader works a lot better, especially when you start getting it smooth on the top, because the dozer kind of dips its blade down and picks up some wood chips and messes up your smooth surface on the top if you're not careful.
All right, well, that'll work for right now, and then we'll come back later with the front end loader and really clean it up good. But right now we got to get busy. We got to get uh, get several more loads of wood chips over to the get them dropped off. Okay, so for those of you that missed it, um, Thursday night, last night, uh, oh, probably about, I don't know, it was about 6 o'clock, I guess, I, I dropped some photos, some screenshots of my next map uh, up on the Facebook page. And uh, that, that map's coming along pretty nicely. I got a ton more work to do, though, because it's, it's pretty detailed. Uh, if, you, if you thought Dodson logging was detailed, um, then you haven't seen anything yet. Uh, this next map is going to be the town is going to be pretty detailed and some other spots on the maps really detailed uh, So yeah, it's coming on nicely though. Still got a long way to go In fact, I'm thinking about it's probably going to be end of June maybe first part of July before I'm done with it It's definitely definitely gonna take a while And it's simply just the matter that all the detail because uh, I'm putting in a lot more street signs and other signs um, as you probably could tell from the screenshots if you if you saw them uh, there's a kind of a state park area that's gonna have a camping area with some cabins and well, if I can get the cabins worked out I actually downloaded a, a cabin off of a, a 3d modeling site I ended up paying like a couple bucks for it but it was a nice little cabin but the problem is, whenever you walk up to the front of the cabin and look up underneath from like looking up towards the front porch area, you can see you can see the sky up through the cabin. So there's a uh, something missing in there that I've got to try to get figured out. I may not worry about it, but it's one of those kind of things that bugs me. I want it, want it to look right. So, but then again, I'm not really sure how to fix that. I have to maybe try to do something in Blender. But um, I'm I'm not terribly up on Blender, so all right. Now let's see. That's another load there. I'm just trying to get my calculator app up on my phone, so I don't have to worry about switching back and forth. Okay, so we're at 24703 239 plus another 70,000s just uh, a couple maybe two or three more loads and we'll be at uh, 25 million You probably see the course play stuff there. I've got some, I had some routes made back to the uh, wood chippers, but it's not really saving a whole lot of time doing it that way, so I'm not going to worry about it this video. I am just going to pull in straight this time, though, not worry about whipping it around. Yeah, so this video may run a little bit long. I'm not sure. I usually try to keep them right about an hour. and uh, But we'll see how it goes. I, I'm thinking we can get it filled up with maybe just about ten, six or ten more loads, something like that. And, of course, I'll have the totals up at the top of the screen, the wood chip. Uh, leader totals up there. I'm, I don't have it with me right now. I mean, well, other than my, my calculator. But I, I do all that in post processing. Whenever I'm getting the videos ready, I'll put those uh, titles up there and it shows. I keep up with it that way. But since I'm doing it here on the fly, I'm having to keep up with it on my phone.
So there's 24, 843. Let's see, we had three trucks completely loaded, and the wood chippers were full, and there was three of them apiece. So, three, six, I should have, yeah, we should, we should be able to make it. It just depends on if, if nine or ten loads is going to do it. I, I think it will, but we got to be getting close, I mean, and like I said, I'm not going to just keep filling this thing up until we can't jam another wood chip in there. I'm just going to get this little area right here at the entrance kind of full and we'll, we'll uh, you know, we'll get it real full as we can but then we're going to just call it at a certain point here. I'm not going to just, you know, keep trying to squeeze another load in here or there. We're, we're just going to call it at some point. And it's going to be in this video. I'm not, I'm kind of I'm not really tired of doing it, but it's, I know probably some of y'all are getting tired of seeing just the wood chip part of this and want to see some other stuff, and I'm looking forward to it too because we haven't got to the swamp area yet or the plantation. Alright, so there's 24.9. One more load, I think, well, no, two more loads is going to get us 25 million. Because the next load is going to get us to 24,883. Next one after that, I'll put it put us over 25 million. It's crazy. And it's, it's also what's crazy is look how many trees we had to cut down. I mean, this whole area on the side of the road just about bare, <laughs> all all the way from the creek up to this road. So there's 
kind of got equipment scattered everywhere. We got fella buncher and the beast over there. A tr another truck and trailer. We got a Ford truck back there. <laughs> it's got stuff everywhere. Yeah, and so my plan is once I fill this uh, wood chip storage area up, I'm gonna. Uh, I'd like to sell it all, but. You know, I just don't know if I want to do it right away, because like I said, I'm sure y'all are kind of getting tired of all this wood chip stuff. Um, so what I may do is, uh, I may do some loads of uh, just regular logs first. I may I may go hit the swamp, or I may hit the plantation, not really sure. I like to do the plantation, that would be kind of fun. That's more southern U.S. style forestry, which is what we have around here, which is why I made this map. But uh, the swamp would be fun too. So that puts us over 25 million. Let's see if we can get us at least one more load over here before we have to clean it up some with the front end loader or the dozer. I think I'm able to get maybe able to get one more load. You know, what, what might be kind of fun if we decide to sell all the wood chips is to set up a course play route to where maybe I can bring in the uh, the belly dump trailer and maybe just make a circle pattern where I can have, you know, the trucks would come around this way. I could, I could set a wait point right here maybe and unload and then they could drive on or back around this way. And maybe make a big loop. I'll come all the way around the sawmill. All the way around this way. And then I could come back up here to uh, where the this little excavator thing is. That'd be kind of neat, wouldn't it? I don't know. It's just an idea. I'm not really sure. I had to play around with that a good bit in uh, course play to see how that works. I know about setting up wait, waypoints and stuff, but... Uh, not sure if I can actually make it dump there. So there's 25,123,000. Be kind of neat maybe if we could get to like, I don't know, a nice fairly round number. I, I wish I hadn't messed up and tried taking these wood chipper things down there. I may I may do that again though. Well no maybe maybe I won't. I don't know. I can't I can't make up my mind sometimes but uh what I tried doing once before get that turned off. So what I tried doing once before was was actually t filling up these wood chippers and loading them onto a low boy and driving them over there and trying to make them dump in there but that didn't that didn't work out too well. It didn't it partly dumped uh, but it didn't, for some reason, didn't do it all the way. And let's see, before I get going too far, I need to fill up the wood chippers again. Or 
with whatever's left up here. These trees go so fast. That's not even enough to fill up one truck. So we'll get those filling up while we're gone. But I'm hoping we're real close to just about having this thing filled up. So I'd really kind of like to not be able to cut any more trees and just worry about dumping the wood chips in there. Twenty five million one ninety three. And before we make the next load, I'm going to have to scoop that up a little bit and try to clean that up some. Now let's see if we can squeeze it in on the left side. Looks like there's a little bit of a hole there. I just don't want to get my truck stuck. That's the main thing. Because those uh, support feet on that trailer tend to get stuck. And then uh, I have to end up pushing it out with something. Sometimes whenever the wood chips start coming out and the trailer, I guess, lightens up maybe or something, it'll sometimes it'll come loose, but a lot of the time it doesn't. It just won't get stuck. Okay. So 25 million 263. I wonder if we can get to 500. Like, 25 million 500 that'd be good and I may I may try I might try taking one of these wood chippers down here 
give that another shot. I mean, if nothing else, I can just dump it on the ground outside the wood chip storage area, then maybe, uh, you know, try to scoop it up with the excavator. Probably do that. Looks like that one's empty. What's this one got in here? Some oddball number. Of course, it's got to be some crazy number. It's nothing even. I could probably never stop it on the on an even number. <laughs> oh well, I guess I won't worry too much about that. Okay, let's see here. Let's uh, let's see if we can get some of this cleaned up. You are just going to bear with the crazy camera here for a second. I'll get it fixed here in a minute. Okay, so normally what I do, or what I have been doing, is... I wonder if I can go up there. We'll, we'll try it. I should have got more of a run and start, I guess, but maybe it's smooth enough. I can just go right up it. That worked out. Okay, so what I've been doing is, with the front-end loader, since all this that we're driving on right here is already smooth, that's as high as it'll go. So I just dump the bucket, and you see nothing comes out until I get over a spot that is not all the way full. And I just kind of drive over it, letting it dump as it goes, and it'll smooth itself on out. And I'll put a few more wood chips there. So you see, if we do this enough, well, it'll just kind of smooth itself out. In fact, let me fix that camera. Okay. Trying to go as fast as I can. This machine here is not too quick. <laughs> Alright, so I need to fill some of that in so I got me a nice little ramp to go up. Or at least smoother than what it is. But you can, if you if you're careful, you can kind of smooth it out yourself with the front end loader. See, watch this. I'll just kind of top it off a little bit. If you can manipulate the bucket just right, it should create a nice little either flat spot or ramp or whatever you want to do.
Yeah, we're, get, we're getting real close now. Just a few more loads. Maybe, I don't know, maybe four or five more loads. We should be able to call it good. Truck get up there. I guess I should have hopped in the Cat 994. We would have been done already. That thing takes so long to fill up the bucket, but it does hold a lot. It holds, uh, let's see, it holds 10, is it 10 times? More than 10 times more than this little thing. But it takes about 10 times longer to fill it up, too. Yeah, we're close now. So what I'm going to do is uh, this little area right here next to the wall, I'm going to fill in this spot. And then I think right over here on the other side too, there's, a, yeah, there's just a little bit left over here. I'll fill in just a tiny bit there. I may do it with that uh, bucket loader or uh, excavator thing. But let's go, let's scoop up a couple more things here. Get another scoops and a couple more scoops and then we'll... Uh, See if we can get a couple more loads with our trucks. And then that's just about going to do it. I mean, we may have to you know, make more than just a couple of loads with the trucks. Maybe it ended up being four or five more. But I think maybe, let's see, looks like about maybe four, yeah, about four to five, maybe six more loads, and we should have it. So let me get one more scoop, and then I may take the dozer real quick and just kind of make us a little ramp. 
So if we need to back our truck up on there, we can have a place to back it up to. I didn't quite get the bucket full, oh well. What I was really wanting to do is just to uh, fill in just a little bit more right up here at the top. Because our truck won't be able to back all the way up here, I don't think. So let's hop in the dozer real quick. That should be good. All right, so it looks like we've got yeah, we've got three trailers full, so let's get these three done and we'll see where we're at. And what I should have done was to use follow me to get all three of them down there, but I'll, I'll do that next time. We'll just get the two red trucks. Now, like I said before, I'm not going to fill up that little gravel area because that's kind of our offload point. So I'm going to leave it empty. So that's twenty five million three hundred thirty three thousand.
Now the trick with these trucks with follow me is you have to when you get ready to come to a stop you got to really slow down because uh, these trucks take a while to stop and if you uh, try to stop too fast the truck behind you just slam into you. <laughs> yeah. See I'm kind of trying to ease it. Uh oh. Yeah he got going too fast. Oh well. Uh, let's see. And I got it stuck. All right, that's all okay. We'll get something over here to push us out. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, follow me works pretty good until it doesn't. Uh, sometimes I've had the, the trucks behind. For some reason, they just kind of glitch, I guess, and either catch on something and then uh, follow me doesn't really know how to recover, you know, something like that. Oops, it's already started. I didn't know it was a mini in there. Okay, looks like we're gonna have us another load. Huh. Oops. I did it again. Yeah, I didn't realize there was that many wood chips in the wood chipper. I thought we only had about forty something thousand left in there.
All right, well, there's uh, 25,543,000. And I think I'm just about ready to call this thing full. I mean, I, I know there's, we could probably put a few more loads in there, but uh, let's, let me look at something real quick. Yeah, I was just checking to see how we're doing on time. Looks like we got about 10 minutes left before the hour. But yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna probably just go ahead and call this. I mean, we we could probably put, like I said, a couple more loads in there, and we may do that next time. I don't know, but I'm just about ready to call it full. I'm out of out of logs, and I don't think there's if there's much left in here. There can't be too much left in there. Yeah, there's only just uh, maybe 20-something, 30,000 liters left in there. All right, let's see. Let's see here. Let's go for the big boy. Finish this thing off with a big bang. Oh, I remember now. I don't think it'll uh, let me fill that up right there. Well, I guess it will a little. I got to get on out there a ways. That's what it is. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's see here. I think it's a little spot right there. Another little spot over here. Alright guys, well I think I'm just going to call it right here. I don't think there's much else we can do. I mean, we can probably get a couple more loads in there, but like I said, I'm not going to try to squeeze a couple more in there just to, you know, try to completely fill it up. So we're going to, we're going to call it good right there. And I'll tell you what, let's, uh, yeah, that's what I was looking for right there. Let's check this out from the air. I'd say that's pretty well full, don't you? 
we left our little uh, gravel offload point empty, but that's all right. We we're going to anyway. And everything else is pretty well to the top or uh, above the, the wall. Just a couple of little spots there, but... I wish I could get a good picture of it, but I don't think that... Uh, I don't think it'll all get in camera. Because the eclipse, see it's clipping over there. But anyway, that's going to do it. It's full. And uh, now I'm going to try to figure out what I want to do about uh, selling all these wood chips. Because the goal was to fill it up, then sell it all. <laughs> See how much money we get for it. But yeah, I'm, I'm calling it good. So we're, we're done filling up the wood chip area. And I'm going to try to see if I can get a decent picture. I don't know. I'm going to have to do it in two. Because that corner over there just does not want to fill up. Alright, there it is. It is full. Awesome. Alright, well, hope y'all enjoyed this video. We finally got it full, and uh, I'm going to see about uh, the ways to uh, sell it. And uh, I may just do it on my own. I don't know. I mean, I may show some of it, but like I said, I'm, I'm sure some of y'all are tired of watching all the Dodson logging wood chip videos. But uh, anyway, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been kind of fun. Been pretty fun. Oh, let's see. I guess I didn't shut that off. There we go. Okay. So anyway, like I said, we're full. And I'm going to work on getting it sold. And I may do most of that off camera. I am going to try to keep up with it, though, because I think it would be kind of fun to see how much money we get for all that. Of course, it's going to depend on the prices and everything. And The more we start selling, the more the prices are going to go down. In fact, matter. Uh, let's, let's take a look here and see. Oh, there it went. Prices. So it's $318 right now. Not not terrible. Not not great. But uh, this I don't think this uh, sawmill has actually gone into... Uh, great demand yet. In fact, I'm not even sure what day we're on. Uh, one, two, three. Surely we're more than three days in, or four days in. I don't know. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here for this time. Hope y'all enjoyed. Um, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already uh, because I'm trying to get to 1,000, and we're almost halfway there. And um, also, go check out the Patreon page. There's a link in the description below. You can uh, go see what all's happening over there on Patreon. And uh, what I'm going to start doing, I've, I, like I said, I've got another map coming. And what I'm probably going to end up doing is anybody who wants to participate who's a Patreon member will get early access to the map. And uh, that way they can help me test and, you know, play it before anybody else does. And uh, just another perk of being a, a Patreon supporter. Uh, but if you, if you don't want to do the monthly thing, I've also got a PayPal.me account where you can just do a one-time donation. Help, help me out uh, by giving me a little bit of a support here on the channel. But anyway, that's going to do it for Dodson Logging on this time. And uh, next time, we we'll, uh, may do a little bit of wood chip selling, but we're probably going to uh, load up all of our equipment and move to a different spot and then work on getting some logs uh, over here to the sawmill and probably get this, uh, this uh, lumber uh, part of it, this lumber sawmill part going. We've yet to even fire that plant up, so we'll get that going next time maybe. Uh, for sure, get our equipment moved over to a new site. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we will see you on Monday.